What's the difference between artificial intelligence and robotics? As a futurist, I help companies understand the latest technology trends and artificial intelligence and robotics are both really important trends for companies to watch, but they're not the same. Sometimes people feel that there's an overlap between them. And in this video, I want to explain what this is. So basically, artificial intelligence is an area of computer science that helps us to develop computer programs that can learn by themselves. So you either feed them data and they learn from this data, or you use sensors and inputs to help algorithms learn by themselves. Robotics, on the other hand, is a field of engineering that is that basically focus on building and operating robots. So mechanical tools that can do things autonomously. So we've seen this in manufacturing for a long time, where we have tools that can and robots that can build cars, but we also now have very advanced robots that can do almost anything. And this is where the overlap between those two fields comes in, that we now can combine artificial intelligence and robotics, where basically the robot is the body and the artificial intelligence is the brain. So if you think about this, in the past we've had robot, robots for a long time building, building um, things like cars, but they've been dumb robots. They've picked something up, programmed to screw something into there, put a wheel onto a car, spray paint a car, but it couldn't really intelligently make decisions. Nowadays, we can give those robots sensors and we can give those ro robots things like cameras that act as their eyes. And we add artificial intelligence to this equation as a brain and suddenly you have an artificially intelligent robot. And this is where all the advances have come from in robotics recently. If you think about a drone, for example, as a robot, the brain, the artificial intelligence, makes this drone fly autonomously. We now have self-driving cars. Again, combining robotics and the brain, the AI. A really good example is a raspberry picking robot. This is something I've looked at recently. And basically in the past, it would have been impossible for a robot to pick raspberries. If you think about those delicate fruit and every bush looks different, the location of the raspberry is different, how to gently pick it. And people basically felt that you needed humans with their dexterity to do this. However, by now combining artificial intelligence and robotics, you can now achieve that. You now have a raspberry picking robot that uses machine vision, so a camera, to detect where the raspberries are and then uses a, an arm, a robotic arm, with lots of sensors in them to then pick the raspberry perfectly, not to push it too hard, and then place it somewhere in a container to have it harvested. And this for me is a really good illustration of how far autonomous robots have now come. And basically, we now also have this ability of what we call reinforcement learning. So instead of feeding a machine lots of data to recognize a raspberry, you let the machine learn things by experience. So we now can use reinforcement learning this is almost learning by experience. So I've recently um, seen a robot that is basically monitoring the environment, that is learning by itself to start to walk. And this, each failure reinforces a learning point, each success, if this was, it was a successful step, and it, the robot, for example, didn't fall over, it then registers this. So you now get this self-perpetuating learning cycle where robots can almost learn like infants to do things like speaking and walking and this for me is the latest evolution of these of combining AI and robotics so to recap they're not the same AI is about data science is about 
computer programs that learn by themselves. Robots are about machines that can do autonomous things, but by combining them, AI becomes the brain, the robot becomes the body, and you can achieve amazing things. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.